How's it going, YouTube? It's the first nice day of spring, and if you're like me, you're probably going to put some new speakers in your car and make it sound a little bit better. Factory speakers are always pretty bad, even if they're Bose or whatever brand they put in them. So I'm going to show you what to do in the 2013 Forester. And from this video, you can probably apply it to your own vehicle, or if you have a Forester, you can follow it directly. So sun setting, I'm trying to make this a little quick. So make sure that you have the proper tools, pretty much a screwdriver. If you want to use a spudger to get the door out, door panel out, you can use that, less damage. All right, let's get into this. All right, so first things first, you're gonna to wanna to remove everything from the cup holder and the holder down there, just add weight to this, it's pretty unnecessary. You're also gonna to wanna to roll your windows down completely. So once everything's removed, roll the window down. There's gonna be three things immediately you're going to want to remove. Uh, use the flathead screwdriver to pry this little piece up to reveal that screw. And then you're also gonna to want to reveal the screw in here. So I can just get with my fingernail. There's the other one. And you're also gonna to wanna to pull this piece out very gently, okay? Because you do not wanna break this whenever you're trying to put it back on. All right, both screws have been removed so far, and this has been pulled out. Now my model does not have the tweeters, but there still is a wire connected to this, so you can either pull this out or just leave it dangle out of the way, out of the car a little bit. And now what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your the flat end part of your screwdriver, and there's a little notch in here. You're gonna to wanna to pry this up very gently. Now, the back is going to be the hardest part to get up, and I won't be able to record that part, especially not one-handed, but just work around this. You're not gonna to wanna to do this on a cold day because you will break this. It makes plastic a lot harder and more fragile whenever it's cold. So make sure, you, you know, you got a nice day out. So just put the screwdriver in there, pry it up. All right, so I pry it up that part now I'll just go along it and you'll be able to feel the little notches don't be afraid to give it a little tug especially towards the back because it's still clipped on a little bit but you obviously do not want to break this and there you go that's yep, still connected in the back all right so now this has been connected or taken out so disconnect these two uh, cables probably have to do this there we go there's one and then the second after you have that piece out now it will reveal two screws one here and one there as you can see now remove these two and also do not lose these all right now these two screws are out you're ready to start removing this door panel now what I like to do is go around the edge and feel where it's coming out just a little bit and I think mine is coming out a little bit over here. So just get behind here and just start, you know, pull it out. Don't rip it out, but just go along the edges. And give it a nice pull. Because there are these tabs that you will see that are holding in the door. Now you're going to lift the door panel up. As you lift the door panel up, you want to be careful because there are these things still connected to the door handle and your welcome light is also still connected. So there are two balls that are stuck in here and you're just going to want to pull them out. And it should be fairly easy, but don't pull up. You want to pull, you want to pull out so that they unhinge. All right, mine is already taken out, but what you'll need to do is remove the three screws holding it in and whenever you pull it out, you will break this factory seal on it. Just keep that in mind. And then remove that connector from the speaker. Now, as you can see, the speaker is completely like soft plastic, and this magnet is extremely small. So these are not the best speakers, and a lot of car manufacturers don't include the best speakers. So it's a good idea, to, if you really like music, to just replace them. So besides the speakers themselves, which I will be replacing them with the Kicker CS series, you will need a harness to connect from the factory to your new speakers. This is pretty essential unless you want to cut these wires, which are pretty short to begin with, and just solder them on there. 
and you will also need this bracket so that you can mount your speakers, which is also very important. And also notice the orientation of it and the orientation of the bracket you're installing. It will be this flatter side will go against the door and this will be protruding. And there also might be some little edges here so that you can fit any speaker on here. But in my case, I had to just break these off so the speaker sits flush. Now, as you can see, there's also some foam in here. I took some weather stripping and just put it behind the speaker. And whenever I screwed the speaker into the door, which also I had to make a custom hole down here instead of the factory, um, this will create a good seal against the door so you don't have any sound leaking out of it. So make sure that these factory uh, spaces in here are also in. I glued mine down so that they would not come out because that was an issue. And you will also need to make a hole for one of the screws depending on the bracket that you're using. So once you have this set up so far and it looks good, it's stayed in, you might want to actually leave this for a couple days if you use glue or epoxy just so they really stay in the door. So just you know, plug this into your speaker usually it's pretty self-explanatory you know the big end goes to the big end and vice you know the smallest to the small so just plug those in and then use screws to mount it onto your door all right so if you've gotten to this step you will realize that the magnet on the back of the new speakers are pretty damn strong and they will stick to this metal constantly so you really have to keep it in place while you put the screws in and make sure that it's tight so whenever people are getting in your car, they're not knocking the speaker off your door. You gotta take the panel back off. And you know, it's just pain if it falls off. So everything's hooked up now. So go to your head unit and obviously this is not stock, but change it to the front right speaker so you can test this speaker by itself. Play some music. And it's working. So after you've tested the speaker, made sure it works, put the panel back on your car. Now don't forget these little knobs right here. Make sure they get placed inside of these uh, catches and then you put the uh, color part back in here because as you can see, whenever the door opens, it actually pulls that and that how is how the door unlocks itself. So if you go and try to unlock the, the door and it doesn't open, then you probably didn't actually snag this in here. And same with the locking mechanism. As you can see, it's free flowing right now. And usually whenever you put these back on, you can give it a pull and you will feel it pull this, this right here. Let's see, I just locked it. Now I unlocked it. So that's pretty much the most important part. Also, you know, don't lock these, don't get these caught in the door too. Make sure that these get connected back to your, your you know, window opener, door locker. All right, so whenever you have your handle connected and your door lock, and also the welcome light is connected, don't forget that. You want to pull it up just enough so that you can put it on the lip of your door. And also keep this wire out of here won't be able to do this with one hand but you can actually put the wire over this if it and you want to lift it up so that you can place it on here now it should sit pretty flush and you should be able to let it go without it falling now make sure that you go ahead and line it up so that these will connect all the way around the door and there's also one yep right up here you know, just press on the door, make sure everything's everything's connected into it. All right. So then, don't forget, put these two screws in. All right, screws are now in. All right. So now you're going to take your the door panel and connect it. Now, you cannot switch these connectors, and if you do switch them somehow. Uh, send me a picture because it's pretty much impossible so connect them make sure they're connected 
then you can put this back in the door and just press it down. Now you should also have made sure that you can open the door by now because you'll have to take everything back off and fix those latches. So now you can put this also back in the door. That just snaps back in. All right, then you just put the two screws back in. Just a little note, if you pull one of these out, make sure you check to see if the metal is still on here. As you can see, there is no metal on here. It's actually stuck in the door. So just take some needle nose pliers and just pull it out because this is what's actually holding it on. So just go ahead, stick this back on there and you're good to go. Screws have been put back in. Now just close the covers and you're all done. And that's how to replace the speakers in your door. Now your model might be a little bit different, might have some tweeters, might be a 14, you know, 2012, nine, but there's some things in here you can take away from the video. Make sure you put your window down. Don't break anything, that's pretty much priority number one. So thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to rate, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you want. Alright, thanks.